the coward. And then the Quran says they would like you to compromise. When this coward all his life, he compromised in order to reach the point when he's strong, so he will not compromise. Let us see, I'm trying to find the hadith. Let us see, where is the hadith? You know, there is a website, they say to you, the benefit of the man who pisses in the mosque. The benefit, I mean, guys, can you believe it? Look at this. فَوَائِدْ مِنْ حَدِيثِ الْأَعْرَابِيَ الَّذِي بَالَ فِي الْمَسْجِدِ the benefit of the man who piss on the mosque. The benefit. <laughs> I mean, there is a benefit, you know. There is a benefit from that. Even even this one, they praise Muhammad for it. The guy he piss standing inside the house of God. And Muhammad did not prevent him from doing that. So what happened to Muhammad later? He killed anyone who don't agree with him. At this point, Muhammad was a fufu. Cat. Anyone can bit him. As soon he gets strong, he will rip you to pieces. This man is a fraud. A person who has jealousy for the house of God, he will have a jealousy for the house of God. It doesn't matter if he is strong or weak. It doesn't matter if you have an army or not. I'm trying to find the hate for you in English. Give me a second. Here we go. What about the dogs? I mean, the dogs didn't have a tribe. <laughs> the dogs didn't have a tribe. <clears throat> the green color, because the Quran, you see, those are the Bedouin. You see, Bedouin, this is always a Bedouin. Muhammad himself is a Bedouin. So the Bedouin, because they live in the desert, so the green color is a big deal for them. Uh, because this religion is made for the Bedouin, by the Bedouin, so everything, all the promises, is the promises fit with the Bedouin. So you will see that in, in the people of the, of the desert, they suffer from two things, extreme cold and extreme heat. I don't know if any of you live in the desert before, but at night it gets so cold, extreme cold. And in the daytime, it gets so scary hot. I remember I used to cook eggs without oil. Just put them, put the, the, the tray, the, the pan, put it over the sand. A few minutes. You don't need like five minutes. A few minutes. And you break the egg and the egg is cooked. I remember once I burned my hand because I parked my car not in the shade. So I thought, did not put it for long, so it's going to be okay. So I put my fingers to open the car, the car door and my, my skin burned. Hurt badly. So this is a very extreme uh, life of cold and heat. That's why you see the Quran promising green. Even their clothes in the heaven will be green. Even the clothes, the, 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 every Muslim in heaven will wear green. But this is due to them being the desert people. This is why, like cars in some countries in the Middle East, they lose their color so fast, and they have to be painted in a special kind of coloring. You cannot bring a color, a car uh, uh, was shipped to, uh, like, uh, let us say, Munich, and you send it to Saudi Arabia or to Kuwait. Uh, the color will go right away because the sun is extreme.
So all the promises is a promises made for the people of the desert. You will notice as an example, Muhammad, he promised them a banana. Why, why you promise me banana in heaven? <laughs> because, because there's no banana in earth for them where they live. Banana doesn't grow there. Uh, okay, this is the guy he said he might be to the sea. We have Abdul. Let us hope it's going to work. Well, it's not going through. Shafraz, don't call me. I will call you so the call can go through. See what they will wear? He promised them things they don't have in this earth. Those are Bedouin. They take a shower once a year. Water is very rare. Hardly they can, you know, feed their animals from grass. And the grass, that's why they are Bedouin, because they have to keep moving from place to place. If they stay in one place, there is no enough sufficient water, which means there's no enough sufficient food. There's no grass. There's no trees. That's why the Bedouin are Bedouin. They have to keep moving. So here the, the, the land is dry. We try, we keep moving, finding different spot where there's some rain fell down there and some grass is growing. Let us try again to call this guy. Well, obviously, your internet is horrible. Okay, well, it says that he is online, but I cannot call him. What we can do. This is a religion made by the desert man for the desert man. Yeah, his name is Sheikh Sefiraz. Sefiraz. Sefiraz Hussein. I'm assuming maybe he is from Pakistan or something. But he is not uh, answering. I tried to call him. Did not actually go through. I'm trying to call him. You see, it says here, no answer. No answer. He tried to call me, did not go through. And then I called him three times after that. And did not go through. Safaraz Hussein. Let us call him one more time. It's not going through. All right, well, what we can do? I mean, we can just wait. All right, people, did we have a good time? Please inform your friends that we are here so they can join us. And uh, our account, other account is still here too. I mean, we don't, we don't lose it. But as you know, we have many accounts. And always you can follow us not by following an account in YouTube. You can go anytime to patreon.com slash Christian Prince. And now lately we open account with the uh, TikTok. So if there is something urgent, I can post there too on TikTok to tell you that I'm there. So subscribe to TikTok. I don't like really TikTok, but you know what? Uh, we, we know we better be everywhere if we could. What we will lose, right? TikTok. Even the name is weird. TikTok. Right now in TikTok, we have 1,500 subscribers only. You can find my account there by searching for the Christian Prince.
All right, the Christian Prince. Maybe I should make a video today, maybe we will see. Uh, well, you don't have TikTok, no problem. We are just telling you the other options we have to communicate. That's all. Last call, do we have any Mohammedan? Yeah. Anyone? Maybe I will I will see if I can go live in this TikTok, but until now I don't see any option to go live in there. When I click at live, it doesn't show really. It says only upload. There's only an option to upload videos, but not to go live. So I'm not sure how that works. And yeah. And even my upload is still limited. It says one up to one eighty second. You know, still my uh, so look like we you know we have false false information about TikTok. Like some people they say is if you have more than a thousand, you can go live. You can have up to ten minute uh, video. It still says you can have up to one uh, th three minutes. You know, nothing changed. And uh, TikTok is not really good for children. So if you have a, it's not even good for people really. I mean, but as you see, we are trying to be whatever we can be so we can fight the devil. Not because we like it. Okay, this guy is trying to call again. Let us give him a chance. Here we go. <laughs> Hello? Yes, my friend, how are you? Hi there. Hello. I'm okay. Sorry about that, I don't know what's happening. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yes, my friend, you are a Muslim? Yes, yes, yes. Of, of, of course I am. 100 percent and a happy one as well. You are hundred percent Muslim? Very, very happy Muslim, yes. Very, very yeah. happy? Very happy to be a Muslim. Why? <laughs> because we feel that peace. You know, our hearts feel at peace and uh, we worship the true God and it makes us feel happy and, you know, very, very close to the... Okay, well, I don't know. You said you, you, said you feel peace, uh, but the Quran says that your chest, is full of hate, uh, your chest is full of hate. Oh, come on. It doesn't say that words. Well, here we go. The, Chapter 9, verse number 14. The, <laughs> Chapter 9, verse number 14. It says Muslims yes. will feel, their chest will feel better only when you kill them and you torture them. Oh, come on. Chapter 9, verse number 14. Quran, chapter 9, verse 14. Let me, yeah. let me, let me, let me, let me. <laughs> uh, it says... It says, 914, fight them. Allah punish them by your hands. I will disgrace them and give you victory over them and satisfy. That is to do with the battle that happened in the in previous history. My friend, so what? It says that the Muslims, if the Muslims in the time of Muhammad, as you see, their breast yeah. is full of hatred and anger. So how you how you will feel how you will feel peace and as you claim. No, they had enemies who wanted to kill him. So Allah was saying to him. Okay, my know, friend, I will go with you. Them. Okay, no problem. Let us get, let us say, let us say, who is the one, the most person who feel peace? You or Muhammad? Him. Him. Muhammad, of course. Okay, is it true of, that Muhammad, of, is it true that Muhammad, when he received the Quran, he was 
very bad fear and he was trembling and he was so scared yes yes, yes. okay yeah and... but there's an age control huh? so obviously you can you mean he will be he will be you know scared and trembling because the angel come to him for the first time the angel comes so obviously you know he was kind of you know okay. scared and okay worried. i will go with you so first time the angel come in he will be scared so how come mary she did not get so scared and she is a female mary got scared in a, in a quran it says mary uh, said to the person please fear allah and please do not come close to me but the angels replied and said do not worry i am from Allah. no nowhere it says only... nowhere it says that you know can you show me i want to I learn from you there's a verse where you know where the angel come to him to her in, yeah. a, in a human form and says yeah. do not worry i have gave you good news of a no of a you see what she said she did not was... she did not tremble she did not hide under the bed she spoke in an adult mature way saying i seek refuge by allah correct but she did not get scared. She did not say, don't stay away, stay away from me, that you are adding your own right. words now. No, brother, because it was a, it was a human, a, a human. Okay, this is the same person, this is the same person who came to Muhammad, the same person came no, to Mary, correct? No, no, no human come to the cave. It was, it was not a human. Who came to, human who came to the cave? We don't know exactly what shape or form did this angel come in, but it did not come in a human form. If it was a if it was a human form, he would he he would never been scared, but it would come in a, in a other form. Okay, so what? Do you have no idea how this? Uh, so he's, uh, a, he's an uh, is, is he an angel or is a creature? The angel come in a, in in a form, but I don't know exactly which form the angel come in into the cave but it was not a human i know i know i know that it was, it was not where, human. Where, okay where you got your conclusion from is that something you are making an assumption of or you have knowledge yeah, because this because it's, it's creature that was uh, holding him and you know holding him tight it was not human if it was a if it was a human you would have you know told him off go, okay go away well, from me. well uh, 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 there is a hadith your prophet he saw uh, uh, jibril in, in one of two forms, once he saw him with 600 wings, and one, and the other ones, he said, him, see him as a man, correct? Yeah, yeah, the other, the other time, the uh, uh, human come. Okay, so one, once as a human, and the other form is uh, Jibreel, he have the uh, 600 wings, correct? The wings, yeah, the wings that he seen, the wings of the angel, yeah. Yeah, yeah but is it, 600, is it 600 wings? Uh, I heard, I heard something about that. It was, it was, okay. it was, it was huge. So huge. first time Muhammad he saw, if he is not a man, then there is no other choice except he saw him as an angel. Correct. To be honest, yeah, the angel could not fit into the cave. Exactly. So it have to be a man then. So, oh, so no, 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 it was not a man. There's no hadith saying that this was well, this was a human coming uh, into the cave. Okay, but you, no said, but you just said. But you just said. Uh, if the angel in his no normal shape, he cannot fit inside the cave. And Muhammad was inside yeah. the cave, correct? Yeah. Okay, so he have to be what? He have to be then a human, correct? He could have been in, in, in invisible. He could have been in, in the visible creature. Well, Muhammad, he did not say, not. if he was invisible, then Muhammad should say to him, oh, oh, I don't see anyone, Who where are you? Where are you? He did not say that, you know? But the thing is, there's no hadith or, or Quran verse saying this was a human being. If it was a human being, then, you know, you wouldn't be, you know, scared or anything. But there's no hadith saying it was a human or which type of creature it was. But it was not human. Obviously, it was not human. It was not human. I will go with you. There is no hadith saying that, according to you. But still, an angel with 600 wings who covered the whole horizon... He will not be able yeah. to go inside the cave, and you are the one who mentioned that, right? So he must be a human. There's no other choice. Now let me ask you: the the prophet, the prophet, he saw an angel with six hundred wings, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. How come? What do you mean? What do you mean? How come? Does that mean that the angels of Allah they have six hundred wings? 
I think the angel Jibrail is the largest one, I think, so to say. Doesn't matter. The, the size of the, wing, the wings number have nothing to do with their size. He's an angel, and after all, all of them are angels. So, do the angels of Islam have 600 wings? Uh, no, all of them. I don't think so. So, what is no, the all. what is the other numbers? Uh, we don't have a clue, brother, because there's there's, there's too many angels. There's too much angels. There's the angel Akayil, the angel, other angels. So, all, so many angels all angels are the same and here the Quran says that Allah created angels with two wings three wings and four wings so how Muhammad he saw an angel with 600 wings this is chapter 35 verse number 1 Quran 35 one, 30, Quran 35 verse 1 these come in a lot of shapes these the there's two much angels there's Small angels, big angels, but the, the, the biggest all all praise due to create creator of the heavens and who made the angel ashes having wings two or three or four. He increases in creation what he wills. Yeah, it says it says it says he 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 in, he increases a creation. Yeah, but the so increase in creation. This is something Allah he keeps saying always, but he, he can create more. But this is not about the side the, the number of the angels. As you see, the Arabic is so clear. You know, it says Yazidu ful khalq ma yasha, which means he create more, but this is not about the size of the angels or the wings numbers. So the angels they come either in two, three, four. How in the world an angel have three wings? This is who who uh, who made the angels and the messengers with wings. It could be it could be two, three Where is the where, where is the third wing will be? We don't know, but these are un the unseen, the angels are unseen. How do we know? Okay, you see, uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying just to go with you step by step. In the Quran, there is a verse about someone he came down and he was holding a rope. Do you know what I'm talking about? Holding a rope? Uh -huh. Come down, no. no okay. No, I will open the verse for you. And we are going to ask you, who is the one who is going down by a rope? Is that the angel or Allah or who? Chapter uh, 53, chapter 53. Uh, you can read it from verse 4. And you can open any translation if you have a choice. I don't know what translation you like. Just choose one. Uh, All right. And tell me who is the one who is coming down holding a rope? What's the... What's the verse called again? The number? Chapter, chapter 53. Again. Chapter 53. Yeah. Where the God of Islam, he swear by the star. Yeah. You can read it from verse number one if you want. It's up to you. But you can start from verse number four. Well, let me, let me, let me, let me, uh, Surah Najam. By the star where it descends, your companion, Muhammad, has not strayed, not heard, nor does he speak his own inclinations. It is not but... Rev revelation revealed taught to him by one intense strength one of soundness and he and, and he rose his true form while he was in the higher part of the recitation yeah okay so it says here the one who taught him he, he was taught by one mighty in power is that correct taught to him by one intense in strength yeah 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 okay and then it says here endued with wisdom for he appeared uh, actually the translation here is, is translation here is very weird let us see what translation you are reading from your side international international let us see if we can find it international i don't see it here international oh here we go sahih international hold on sahih international Okay. 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 Let's, so we can read together the same translation. So he was taught by him intense of strength and one of the soundness of the uh, uh, heroes to his <laughs> to his a true form. This is what they are translating. But it doesn't say that, by the way, in Arabic, but we will go with it. And then we, while he was in the higher, in the horizon, then he approached and descended. In Arabic it says, فدنا, 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 
which means he is holding a rope. And then was at the distance of two bow length or, or nearer. Who is this person who came down from the sky and he was so close to Muhammad? And he revealed to his servant what he revealed the heart to not lie. To be honest, I don't know exactly one of soundness and he rose to his true form whilst he was on in higher. This could be the angel of you saw Jibrail, okay. I think so. All right. Notice with me here, it says he was in a distance of two bow or nearer, but the angel, he squeezed Muhammad, correct? And he was at a distance of two bow length of, or near. Yeah, 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 yeah. So how this is Jibreel, but look what happened now. It says, and he revealed to his servant what he revealed. In Arabic it says, فَأَوْحَى إِلَىٰ عَبْدِهِ Muhammad is the slave of this person. So this is Jibreel. He is the slave of, of, of uh, Muhammad, is a slave of Jibreel. And the God of Muhammad is Jibreel. And he, and he, and he, and he revealed to his, to, his, to his servant what he revealed. Yeah. No, it says, it says on verse 10, if you, if you read verse 10, it says, and he revealed to his servant yeah. what he revealed. Yeah. So he revealed to Muhammad. Like, who is the servant? Muhammad. So this guy, yeah, and, this, this person, whoever he is, is coming down from the sky, descending down, using a rope, and then he was so close to Muhammad, and then he revealed to his servant. So who is the servant? Muhammad. Muhammad, the servant of who? Yeah. Servant of Jibreel. No, 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 no. You know, you know, you, you know what it says, and he revealed to his servant is a capital H. So that means a capital H is Allah to his servant. What my he friend, my friend, my friend, is Allah is the one who's coming down? Here? No, no, no. But you need to know the context of the verse, brother. You need to know the context. Uh, this is the context. This is the continue read. And there was, he was at a distance of two bow and length. And then he, continue, he, the same person, he revealed to his servant what he revealed. Yeah, brother. But you have to know the context. It says, and he, and he is angel Gabriel okay. revealed to his Allah's servant what he, angel, revealed. Okay, where, where it says to his Allah, where, where you are adding the word Allah there, where it says his Allah servant. No, no, it says, and he revealed, yeah. meaning the angel revealed okay. to his capital, Allah's servant, what he, he, the in, in, angel. My friend, in, in, in Arabic, we don't have capital, this is a lie. It says here, so ila abdihi ma awha, and he inspired to his slave, slave, actually not servant, what he is inspired so as you see there's no capital letter this is arabic we don't have such a thing and he revealed to his slave what he revealed who is the one this is the same person he came down from the sky holding a rope he's so close and he is mighty in power he's so close to the to muhammad and now he is in distance of two bow or nearer and now yeah. he revealed to his slave there's no capital letter. This is false translation. This is English, but in Arabic it doesn't oh, say on. that. No, you can't say that, brother. Man, my, says that my friend, my friend, my friend. Okay, where in, the, in do we in Arabic have capital letter? But the, the, but the no no translation. Uh, no, answer, is, answer me, answer me. Is, uh, do we have in, do, do we have in Arabic capital letter? To be honest, uh, I don't know. No, no, no. I don't no, know. I assure you, no. I don't lie, no. you know, and you can check. You can check and you can call me back. And if I am lying, you, you can laugh at me and make a mockery of me. I don't mind. So we don't have a capital So the verse is so clearly. The Muslim, they try to fix it. They are adding this his with capital but there's no capital So he, and then he inspired to his slave what he inspired. And let me ask you, did Muhammad receive inspiration or he received words by voice he revealed the words by voice so this same is thing. so is th no this is not the same thing inspire is something in your heart if i reveal to you ins inspiration i inspire you inspire you i did not really talk to you directly by voice i through heart through your mind i revealed to you things i inspired you but here it says, فَأُوحِيَ إِلَىٰ عَبْدِهِ مَا أَوْحَى أو فَأُوحَى فَأُوحَى إِلَىٰ عَبْدِهِ مَا أَوْحَى So he inspired what he inspired. But Muhammad did not receive any inspiration from Allah. He received only 
words by mouth, he can hear it from Jibreel, correct? He just saying here, I've I've just I've just gone into the Pictal, I've gone to the Shakir, I've gone to all the all the translations and they're all putting capital he's for, or for for all of them and he capital revealed to his capital he his and then it says because they are trying to fix it. it my friend they are trying to fix it this is not my problem this is your problem because in arabic we don't, we don't we don't in arabic how we will know that this is back go back to allah how we know i mean if the arabic Wait. doesn't say so if the arabic doesn't say so and we don't have capital letter in arabic so how those people they are adding capital letter when it's not there well, well, they not, well, they not, you know, trying to sh show us that this is Allah who's actually revealing it. That's why. That's why they put the capital. Okay, so that's Allah. So okay, if Allah is the one revealing it, so who is the one is coming down? The, the the one is coming down is the angel, Ibrahim, Yeah. But this is mean. There's no point for him to come down if Allah is going to reveal it anyway. Not not Jibreel. Brother, brother, you know the con. You have to know the big context of it. Is what. Allah is saying that He's sent the inspiration, the revelation through Angel Jibrail. So whatever Angel Jibrail is sending is is through is through Allah's command. So this is but, th but this is will be a mistake because simply uh, Allah did not reveal to Muhammad as it says in the verse. The verse it says, "Fa'awha ila abdihi ma awha," and He should make it clear. Then it says. And then Allah, he made Jibreel say to Muhammad what he told him to say. But the verse doesn't say that. And then he revealed to his servant what he revealed. Do you see the word he here? This is not Kabeta, right? You know, I say, I'm, I'm the, reading. The first he, I'm, I'm the first he. Is it Kabeta? Yeah. Is it Kabeta letter? Yeah. No. In, it's a in small. A, in a Tiktal in Tiktal is capital he each and is and, and all the other ones is capital. I've I've just said well this is Sahih. This is the one you told me you are reading in Sahih International. It says and he revealed yeah. but it's not capital. Right. I'm reading all the translations, not just here international. I just want to make it clear to not to Okay, which which one you want me to go for? Which translation you want? Mosin Khan. Mohsin Khan. Khan. Let us go. But did you notice now that your Muslims are really confused? Because how come no. Mohsin Khan, he have it a uh, capital letter, but the other one he don't? In, in, in this one here, it says, so did Allah convey the inspiration to his slave Muhammad through Ibrahim. So this is showing the context of the, of the verse. Okay, but you see, I just ask you, how come the others, they don't have he as capital letter, but that guy, he have it. What the problem? Well, these are different, different translations, you know, different translations. My friend, I speak Arabic. You are confused because of the Arabic. I am not. I, I speak Arabic. And the Arabic uh, doesn't uh, say, it doesn't uh, say what they are saying. This Mohsin Khan is saying, so did Allah convey the inspiration to his slave Muhammad through Jibreel. Okay. Do you notice with me that Mohsin Khan, he add the word Allah? No, he just put in brackets. Yeah, just so but he know. added, right? He added. Yeah, but he's just... So, so hold on. Easy. You see what happened now? So the Muslims, they find that this verse is confusing. So they decide to add the word Allah to fix the Arabic language of Allah. Because <laughs> if this is not needed, why we add it? To make it, to make it clear to the Exactly, leader. exactly. It's to make it clear. I wanted to take your words and not to back, back down with it. To make it clear. So you just admitted that this verse is not a clear and now in the translation we have to add words between bracket to make it a clear correct no it's not for that brother because because the arabic is hard for but you just say that you just said to make it a clear to make it easy for us for us you just said arabic. you just said to make it a clear isn't it the quran says that allah he sent down book and he made it so clear he made it clear in Arabic, but we are not Arabic, brother. We are okay, my friend. Uh, he made it so clear Asian. Arabic, but I am an Arab, and I don't see what you are saying. I am an Arab. I speak Arabic. Arabic is my first language. So Allah, He failed because simply, yeah, because you just say it. Because in Ara who care if this is in Arabic or not? If the translation is a translation, we should not add. If it's clear in Arabic, the translation should be clear too. 
because it's clear in Arabic anyway. But because it's not clear, we have to add words that are not there. I ask you why they add why they add the word Allah. You say to make it clear. So is the word Allah here in Arabic appear? No. So it's not clear too still. He's saying so did he. So the writer is trying to you know, tell us that he is the he is Allah. Just my friend, easy. he's trying to tell us. Is Allah trying to tell you too? Because Allah he did not put his name there. So why are you adding his name if it's clear? If it's okay, clear in Arabic, sir. my friend, if the verse is clear in Arabic, the translation will be exactly the same and will give it clear in English too. But as you see, here it's very confusing. It says, فَكَانَ قَابَ قَوْسَيْنِ أَوْ أَدْنَى And he become close, near, to bow or, or even nearer. And then he continue for the same person. فَأَوْحَى إِلَىٰ عَبْدِهِ مَا أَوْحَى And he inspire to his slave what he inspire. There's no gap. There's no Jibreel. There's no Allah. It's speaking about the same person who came down from the sky. No. Oh, come on. You can't, you can't say that, brother, man. He's stated here. It's saying a main translation is he. Okay. Capital he. My, capital H, my, but my friend, you, are, the, you keep saying capital he. You are the one who keeps saying capital he, right? Yeah. Okay. But there's no he in the capital in Arabic. So this is a false, but, but this is a false excuse. This is a false translation. I will go with you all then. So this is an, a Jibreel, he come to Muhammad, according to you now. This is Jibreel, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Jibreel, he come to Muhammad, and he is coming as a man or as an angel? Uh, he's, not a, he's, not a, he's not a human, that's for sure. He is not a human. He, okay. While he was in the highest right. part of the horizon. Right. Okay. If you go back with me, and this is the translation you choose. It says here, verse number five, he has been taught, hmm? he has been taught, this, between yeah. two brackets, the Quran, by one yeah. mighty in power, between two brackets, yeah. Jibreel. Yeah. But is it in Islam, the only one mighty in power is Allah? Come on, no, no, there's other people that are I thought, mighty in power. I, th I thought the only one is almighty in power is Allah. Which one of my has taught him. Huh? Inspiration. Wait, 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 By one mighty in power. Uh -huh. My power, brother. My power can be be any anybody. It can be it can be humans. It can be. Uh, ah, anybody. okay. Mighty. I thought the word mighty go only for God. Don't we say Almighty? All the 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 word all mighty is for Allah. All. Okay. Let me ask you: Is the angels of Allah are mighty in power? Yes, they are. But they can, can, angel, can, angel, can a human right. being can a human being beat them? A human being what? Can a human being beat the one mighty in power, the angel? A human? How can a human beat an angel? No, it's impossible because it's impossible. They're, 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 so if we find that a human being can beat the angel, that means the angels are not mighty in power. Power? Do you agree? The most mighty angel in uh, Islam is Angel Jibrail. The highest doesn't, one doesn't matter. I ask you, angels, angels. In, in, the whole, in the whole chapter here, my friend, doesn't even say Jibreel. So don't play that game. Does it say anything about Jibreel? It does in verse uh, 5. Where in verse number 5 it says that? Here we go. Where it says? This is a false most translation. He is adding it between the bracket. It doesn't say that. Translation, come on. It doesn't it say that, my friend. Read that. Okay, can you? Sh in Arabic, it doesn't say Jibreel. This is why it's between two brackets. Is, is, is just you know? Is just you know, telling you who is is Tasvir? You see, tasvir. he added between two brackets. This is mean. This is additional proof that the Quran is a false book, because if this is a book made clear by Allah, why we need to add names? They are not there because the whole chapter never says who is this person. And it listen. And listen. Uh, okay, let me repeat the question to you. Can a human being beat an angel? A human being <laughs> be an angel? Yeah. Uh, it depends on the situation, but I, I, I have not heard of Maybe it depends on the training. Being. If I play karate, can I beat an angel? <laughs> you will never be. No, no, no. You will be an angel. Okay. Is the, angel, uh, is the angel of death is a powerful like Jibreel or he's weak? So like 
he come to kill, he come to take my soul so i beat him up and i say hey get lost and i win what do you think is he weak it depends it depends, it depends if the person is a prophet if it, if it's a if it's a mighty prophet then i don't know about that but if you just so normal you, you, human you, being, so you must then believe that mighty prophet can meet can beat a mighty angel i can i can understand that moses hit uh -huh. or slapped the uh -huh. angel of death that's where that's where you were going in it that's where you were going okay and moses slapped the angel or who, hit him who is and then who is to who go. need who need more power to enforce taking life jibreel or the angel of death nobody can stop the angel of death how a person no, he is a man Moses is a man, right? Yeah, yeah. Is he Brosley? Is he Brosley? He's, he's very close to Allah. He was very close to Allah. Yeah, so if he, he if he if he close to Allah, he will obey Allah, correct? Yes. So when Allah he sent the angel of death, listen, when Allah he sent the angel of death and I beat his angel, is that obedience to Allah? You know, obedience just that just that he was it was at time he was he was angry at uh, you know, times and uh, he slapped him because I do that. That is a nice him. answer, guys. The angel was angry. Let me uh, say to you again <laughs> I am a president and I send you a messenger, and then you beat my messenger. Is it this is a clear dis disrespect to me? Well, uh, yeah, yeah, but in the day, yeah, that he might have had anger issues. He might have had anger issues. What issues? Okay, uh, Moses, he have he broke his iPad. And now the angel of death is coming to him. How in the world Moses is close to Allah, as you say, and then he beat the angel which is sent by Allah. This is the same as beating Allah. So Muslims believe that angels have no power, obviously, and angels are just a fraud. And maybe he is imposer, and maybe he is a fake angel. He is not from the true God, and Allah is not God. Because if this is an angel of the true God, my friend, my friend, if this is an angel of the true God, I asked you before, I asked you before, I said to you, who is the all my, the one mighty? You said the angel, and you said this is Jibreel, but nowhere there in the chapter, the whole chapter says Jibreel. You Muslims, you add things to fix the Quran. And here, this is an angel who is in charge of death, which means he needs more power than a normal angel. Why? Because he is going to take life and no mercy. You cannot stop him, you cannot fight him, and you cannot say to him no. Now, when, angel, when the angel was sent by Allah, was it the will of Allah to take the life of Moses or wasn't the will of Allah? It was the it was the command of Allah, but Moses told the angel, give me respite until I reach towards Israel. I think so, you know, the gates of Israel. And mm. then only you take a life. No, uh, this is not what happened, my friend. Read with me carefully. This is, this is not what happened, my friend. This is not what happened. This is not what happened. Read with me. Here it says, Abu Huraira reported that the angel of death was sent to Moses to inform of his Lord Summon. When he came to Moses, uh, he boxed him and his eye was uh, knocked out. He did not discuss with him anything. The guy he came, he told him, it's time for you to die. Muhammad, he hit, uh, sorry, Moses, he hit him with karaki, he played karaki, and his eyes came out. The, the, the angel did not talk no more. He cannot talk. He's just been beaten harshly. So he went back to Allah. And he said to him, you send me to a servant who did not want to die. Did you see it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So here you see that your God, Allah, cannot be the one in the Quran. Because that one is one mighty. Allah is not one mighty. Or if I can beat his angels, I can beat Allah too. If I can change the will of Allah and I can stop him from taking my soul, Obviously, Allah is a fraud. So you send me a servant who don't want to die. So why I send me to him? Because I want to take his life. Moses, he did beat the angel. Yeah. Not only he did beat him and he won, the angel suffered badly from a bad injury to the point his eye came out of his head. And the angel <laughs> could not even fix it. So he went to Allah and Allah put him in the table. He did maintenance for him. He got some screwdrivers, etc. And he put his eye back. And then Allah, he no. said to him, what? Yeah. Uh, what I'm what I'm reading of, of the of the commentary is uh, Musa was unaware that this was the angel of the 
death because it's this angel come in a in a human form. Ah, so the angel, so, like my friend, he, my friend. So Moses, Moses, Moses who is a prophet of God, he could not notice if this is an angel or a donkey. And not only that, so if I am not aware, if I am not aware that this is an angel, still I can beat him, right? Because I'm not aware, you know, because if you are aware he's an angel, you can beat him. But if you are uh, unaware, you can beat him. What kind of logic is that? The angel is an angel. He's powerful. And this is the angel of God. You know, when the angel of God, he come, how come a prophet of God could not recognize him? If the angel of God could not recognize him, who is going to recognize him? At the same time, the, the angel, he introduced himself. He said, I came to you from your Lord to tell you this. No, no, no. It, it says, it says because the angel come to his house without permission. This human being come to his house without permission. Ah, so, he's like, so the, the angel, the angel, he made a mistake. He should send an application to Moses and ask him if he can get in to kill him. No, he, 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 he come as a human and... Where it, says, where it says he came at, where it says he came as a human uh, I'm reading from al Naj al Navi Nabawi. my friend uh, my friend your prophet he did not say that so this is always a fabrication in the same time oh, if the angel came as a human if the angel came as a human that one have to change that he's an angel and he's powerful so now if he changed okay. uh, listen if he changed to a human then that's you are saying and you are agreeing that the angel when he changed into a human he lose his power. All is I know I'm saying here is he comes as a human and Musa did not know and he slapped him, punched him. That's that's what he was. But he but he but he, but he found out. Do you see Do you see anywhere in your prophet words he is saying what you are saying or this is the Muslim trying to fix it to make it look nicer? If your prophet you want to say that he will say that. Your prophet did not say the word a human. Your prophet did not say that Musa do not know. Your prophet did not say any of this fabrication. So the Muslims you are taking over what your prophet says. They can buy a notebook. No, this is not. This is not from the Hadith. The Hadith says it clearly. The angel, even he, you know, the angel of death, the angel of death, it says it clearly, the angel of death, doesn't say nowhere that he came as a human. It says he came as an angel. If he came as a human, no, no. Well, if he came as a human, then, my friend, when the angel came to Mary as a human, the Quran says so, right? So your prophet yeah. will mention it if it's as a human. But he did not say that. He says the angel of death, and he specify who is he. He is specifically the angel of death. So the angel of death, he come to Moses, and then Moses, he been informed. He told him, I came to you from your Lord. He did not surprise him. He did not tell him, I am not an angel. He informed him that I am a messenger from your God, and this is the time for you to die. So now he knew that he is sent by Allah. He is an angel of Allah, and he is specifically the angel of death. What was the response of Moses? He started practicing the skills he learned from me in the park. And he beat the angel. He took his eye out. And I've warned Moses many times not to use that skill because this is only between me and him. So he pick up the eye of the angel out of his head. And let me ask you, how you can take the eye of an angel out of his head? Out of his head? Yeah. Not enough. I don't know, but it was a human, it was, it was a human because he took his eye out. My friend, he's, how, okay, how can, how just, you, just, just, you just to show you the false fiction you Muslim you believe in, did the angel return to Allah as a human? Uh, the, the angel come as a, as a human form, but uh -huh. then when angel form, uh -huh. that's how So it, now, how okay, so let us go with you. So when, when the angel went to Allah, he was an angel now, right? To be honest, I don't know the full commentary of this. No, you just this is, you just said that. Okay, so look look what you said. The angel when he came back to Allah, he came as an angel. But as you see, he came as an angel, but still his eyes out. Yeah, but I, I know, but we 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 don't know the full commentary of this, brother. You can't make your own uh, story up. Nobody okay, knows exactly you just said you, you just said you cannot make your own, but you just were reading to me your own. Because this is something fabricated. It's not the prophecy. So, in the in the commentary you did read, this is your own. The prophet never say he was a human. He never said he was not an angel. He never say any of those things. So you must then you make your own, and then you ask me not to make my own. But you make your own. Yeah. 
Shouldn't you follow only what your prophet says? Your prophet says this, this is what here happened. So let's go back now to zero. As you see in Islam, the, the Islam have a contradictions, many, many, many things. As an example, the Quran teach that the will of Allah, if Allah said B, is going to be, right? Yeah. Okay. And isn't it yeah. Allah he wrote the destiny of every one of us before he created us? Yeah. And the destiny include how the span of life, how long we will live? Yeah, but at the, yeah, but at the same time, don't, don't, know, don't, uh, but, don't, my friend, don't, don't, don't but me. He wrote the span of life. I can show you the hadith. So before you are even 40 years before he created, 50,000 years actually, before he created the human mind, the kind, he wrote their destiny, their lifespan, their deed, their bad deed, their good deed, their religion, etc. So 50,000 years before he created me, he, he wrote when I will die. And now you are yeah. saying to me that Allah who wrote the destiny of Moses, and now yeah. is the day to take his life. Moses, he can change the day of his life. Because as you see, the angel came, and now the date passed. He came to take his life, and he came back because now his eyes is broken, and the Rasul is coming out. So he went back to Allah, and now Allah, he gave him a second option, saying to him, let us negotiate. He said to him, go back to him, and tell him, if you want uh, 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 life, he must place his hand on the back of an ox, and would be granted as many years a life of numbers of the hair he covered and this is very funny so the destiny of islam is a lie because as you see the destiny changed why because Musa has refused to accept the destiny which is the previously written before mankind is created what do you think but there is there is a, a, a teaching where it says that allah could extend a person's life i mean too late or, days, already days or, 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 this is too late already moses extend because allah he sent the angel to take moses life and the angels he sent him bad shipping in hand in handling by amazon so he beat him he could not take his life so what moses can you need to do next time the angel come back he will beat him again and again and again no. and moses will never die no no you just happened once what do you, you know if it, if it can happen once it can happen again as you see the angel he went back to Allah did crying. My friend, did, did, the, did the angel did the angel attack again? No. He went to Allah and says, You don't want to die, what I can do. So so Allah said to him, Go and tell him if you want to live, do this. So obviously the angel of death who was charging death, he had a failure, he could not accomplish his job. So he do not need extension from Allah because all what Musa need to do, each time the angel come to his door, he beat the hell of him, he sent him back. This time he broke his uh, his eye out. Next time he will break his arms. The day after will break his wings. And then the day after he will break his testicles. And maybe even he will kill the angel. <coughs> Come on, brother, man. This happened once. It's not important. This is not important, this story. You got more important things, brother, man. Come on, think about it. There is more important, like what? I will change the topic with you. Go ahead. It's more like what? Probably like, like, probably like, like Jesus. Isa, mm. that Papa Isa, what's gonna happen when he comes? Is he gonna be with the Muslims or is he gonna be with the Christians? That is more important. Mm. Worry. Okay, okay. That's a... in the Quran, in the Quran, Allah says when Jesus returns, the Jews and Christians are gonna accept Islam. They're gonna accept Islam. Is is in the Quran? That's false. No, is no. It's, no, it is. says it says they will become a Christian. No, 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 no. Let me let me read this. Let me read this. I know the verse uh, you are talking about, but again, give me the verse. I want I know the verse, but you will see you are wrong. Go ahead. What's that? What's that? Wow, damn it! I forgot the verse now. Uh, oh man, they will. Oh brother, I forgot the verse where he says that they have to leave. My friend, you want me to help you? You want me to help you? I will show it. What's that? Huh? Yeah, you have a friend. You are, you are asking a friend, or you are asking me? I'm asking. I'm asking you. Okay. What's that verse? Well, the verse is chapter three, verse one ninety nine. Three what? One ninety nine. One ninety nine. Yeah. Corpus, uh, you, 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 brother, know these. You know the truth is Islam. That's why. That's okay. why you got it all in your. Okay, and there's a in, your, in your heart. Uh, okay. No, this is not the first. Huh? 
and indeed the Muslims, they do not. One, three, one, nine, nine. Yeah, this is about what? They will no. believe in Allah, right? And indeed, among the people of the Listen, listen, I'm, 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 I'm showing you something important. They will believe in Allah, right? This little verse. It says they will believe in Allah, right? Yeah. Okay, let us see who is Allah in the Quran then. Because the Quran says that you have to believe in Jesus. And this is the verse you are looking for. Chapter 4, verse 159. So who is Jesus? Allah, and, according to the Quran. And there is none of the people of the book but must believe in him. Now don't play with me the capital letter. Him who? You, will... you see, in the previous translation, you play with the, the capital letter, right? Here there is no capital letter. They believe in who? Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. What's that? Uh, chapter 4, the, verse 159. What did it call again? Chapter 4, verse 159. Chapter 4. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, one, hmm. 159, yeah. Yeah. I've got this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Corpus. Right, Corpus. I'm on it now. Uh, and there is none of the people of the scripture, Jews or Christians, but they that he will surely believe in Jesus before his death and on the day of the resurrection he will be a witness against them yes okay this is so we have to believe okay. in Jesus so we, so we will not so we will not believe in Allah we will believe in Jesus and we Christian already will believe in Jesus this is about the Jews so when Jesus came back no, 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 all the Jews my friend all the Jews they will believe in him not in Allah you see you Muslims you 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 are the one who chose this verse right so this verse to be accurate according to Islam it should say to believe in Allah, to believe in Muhammad. No, oh, brother, we will believe talking, in him. You see, my friend, do you believe in Muhammad or do you believe in Allah? Both. No, your Muhammad is a prophet. You believe Muhammad. Yeah. No, you believe Muhammad. You don't believe in Muhammad. You believe Muhammad, yeah. but you don't believe in Muhammad. You believe in Allah, correct? No, believe that Muhammad is a my friend, Prophet. you speak English better than me. Believe in, that's mean this is your God. Believe what he say, that's mean you are following the teaching. So you believe Muhammad, and but what do you Muhammad believe? He believe in Allah. So you believe Muhammad, but you believe in Allah. Correct? I just showed you the verse, the previous verse. The verse says that the people of the book, they believe in Allah. You forgot? You have a short memory? No, 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 no. Okay, I just show it they to you. My friend, I just show it to you. Why Muslims didn't see? I just show it to you. You believe in Allah, you know, and you believe in Him, Jesus. Yeah. Okay, so you believe in Him. Who is Him? Allah. Yeah. Okay, and who is Him here? Jesus. And yeah. Uh, Brother, are you yeah. going? Are you going yeah, to keep? Yeah, uh, yeah, but, are you going to keep saying to me? Yeah. No, but he says you have to read the full context, brother. On verse. My, four, five. my friend, I did. I did. Here we go. Let us read it again, my friend. Let me show you. You see, this is why I showed you the first verse, my friend. This is why I showed you the first verse. Hmm? It says here, chapter three, verse one ninety nine. Remember, you told me no. This is not the verse I'm talking about. I showed it to you this one for a reason. It says. And they are, and, and, and from the people of the book, who will believe in Allah? Believe in Allah. Do you see it? Believe in Allah. Yeah. Okay. So when you say the word, the word believe in, that means you believe in God. You don't believe in Muhammad. Yeah, yeah. You believe Muhammad. You don't believe in Muhammad. So the other verse says, none of the people of the scriptures, but they will believe in him. Him who? Jesus. Hello? So. So Jesus is your God, my friend. And the verse is very clear. Everyone will believe in Jesus. And those are the Jews who they refuse Jesus. They will believe in him. Not they will believe him. Believe in Allah. Anyway. Yeah, but you know, you know, if you read, uh, right, let me answer this. Let me answer this. Right. <laughs> let me let me answer answer this because I, I I've, I've got a common argument here with you. Uh, you know, if you 
if you if you if you read uh, chapter four verse one three six, it says, "All, all you have believed, believe in Allah and His Messenger." Hmm. Four chapter four Still, verse. Still, you see you verse, know, what you are saying to me: believe in Allah, believe in Allah. And yeah. No, but it says believe in Allah yeah, and but His the, Messenger. But the, but the Messenger, you believe the Messenger, you don't believe in them. Do you worship no, the messenger, my friend? Do you worship the messengers? No, but it's okay. Here. So, Please. what is the problem of the Jews? They did not believe Jesus, correct? They they did not believe in the true who who who, who Jesus was. The okay. Christians and the Jews no. turned away. From okay, I, I will. You see, hold on. I will go with you. Read me with me carefully. Chapter four, verse one fifty nine. It says here, they will not a single one, but he will believe. Is that a destiny here? Yeah. So what the point? Well, let me see. Uh, but you have to go back to one five seven, brother. My friend, says, I don't care. I don't, I don't care who you kill back one thousand year, one thousand verse. You just said yes. As I ask you, is that a destiny that those people of the book they will believe in Jesus? You said yeah. They believe in him as 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 a trophy of. Allah. Nowhere it says that, but we will go with you. Let us say they will believe he's a prophet. Nowhere it says that, but we will go with you, my friend. So you said this is a destiny. You said this is a destiny. So how foolish this religion is. So you now you destiny for them. They will believe in him, but this is not their choice. It's a destiny. He's saying, he's saying, but, but they... My friend, he, is it a destiny? Oh is it a destiny for Jesus not to believe then? then? The Jews that did not did believe Jesus... The, Jews, the, the Jews did not believe Jesus. It was a destiny too. <coughs> yeah, but it says... Okay, when he, so what is the problem of Allah with the Jews if this was a destiny? No, forget destiny, brother. It's seen that they will believe in him. They will when, when he comes. We are, we are trying to understand step by step. So they did not believe in the beginning. It was destiny. They will believe in the end. It's a destiny. And they will believe what? In him. It's a destiny. So all Islam is a fiction story. It's a joke because there's no good deed. There's no bad deed. There's no good deed. There's no bad deed. When the, when the Jews disbelieve, it was destiny. You said that, you agree. So it was not a bad deed because they did not choose. And when the Jews, they agree to believe in Jesus, they did not even do good deed. Why? Because it was a destiny. If it's a destiny, then no. where, where is my good deed? Now listen, listen, listen. When, I, I did, when, when, Adam, when Adam, he became a Muslim. He became a Muslim, right? Did Adam become a Muslim? He was. He was Muslim. How he was a, he was Muslim. a Muslim? How he was a Muslim? Because a Muslim means one who submits his will to God. No. He did it. No. You don't. You don't. You know. You say, you, to say submit your will if you have will, but in Islam you don't have will. Yeah, we do. No, you don't. Free will. What you don't? No, you don't. Free. No, you don't. Free. You just Free. told Free. me. Free. You, ju you just told me this is a destiny. You yourself, you said to me, verse number 159 is a destiny. The people of the book, they must believe in him. Do you see this is must? It says they... <coughs> it says must. It says must. See, it's, not, it's not a free will. See, it's a must. Do you see the word must? Uh, which translation are you reading from? I don't care. All of them, they are the same. It is, it's, in, the same. in Arabic, it says the same. Not a single person from the people of the book, but he must believe in Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Khan, he says, and there is none of the people of the scripture, Jews and Christians, but must believe in him, Isa. Exactly. The son. So you see, as, so, as, so you see, hold on. As only an essence of Allah. Where is, and a, and a human. Okay, but this is fabrication because nowhere in Arabic it says that. Can you show me? No, can you show me? You don't don't waste my time. Can you show me in Arabic where it says as a messenger of Allah? Well, that's the context of it. They have leaving him. Okay, as, so as you Muslims, so you Muslim, you fabricate Quran by adding their words because the Quran is out of context unless we add context. Brother is saying they must leave in him. Obviously, my friend, my friend, like, don't tell me obviously. Don't tell me obviously. You are adding words to the Quran, and this is tahrif. This is a corruption. But don't don't go. For, wait, wait, wait so, for, so you just said now that they must not a single one. Correct? You agreed. Not a single one, which means there's nobody have a free will. But they must believe in him. It means it means they must believe in him. No, no all of them, all of them. None, 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 none. Does it say none? None. But everybody will believe in Jesus. 
Does mean there's no free will. No, it says, and there is none of the people of scripture, but must believe in him. Meaning they have to believe in him. If they don't, they will go to hell. My they friend, will go to hell. you are adding your own words now. Listen, listen. It doesn't say that. What they will go to hell. It, it says, is. all of them, they will believe. It's a destiny. Now, let me ask you. A child, when a child is born, is he a Muslim or non-Muslim? A Muslim. Okay. Is he going to go to hell? As a as, uh, child? Yeah. An infant. No, if he, if it's an infant under under age and he did not know right and wrong, then he'll go to he heaven. Then why you are saying so? Because the the, the, the child is innocent. He, he did not know right and wrong. So it's not destiny where he will go to heaven or hell before he is made. Is is uh, is written that what this person is gonna do in life is but, but, this, but, the, but this person is just an infant he just died so he will not do anything so what he should so go? The, so it was it was it was written for this child to go to heaven so there's no option to go to hell how can a child go to hell when he, 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 he did not do anything so are wrong? you are you saying i am being stupid if i say so that he might go to hell there's no chance of a child a child to go to hell okay well this is your prophet your prophet, he says, he will go to hell. Your prophet, he attend a funeral of a child. He's an infant. And Aisha, she said, and Aisha, she said, happiness for this uh, child. He is going to go to heaven. For he did not even reach the age of sin. He's an infant. So the prophet, he said to her, fear adventure, Aisha, it might be the other way. And you are the one now who made fun of your prophet and you agree that this is stupid if I say such a thing. But as you see, Aisha, she confirmed that this person, he is an infant, he's a child, he is a Muslim, born family, and he never commits sin, neither reached the age of sin. And Muhammad didn't agree. He says, well, be adventure, Aisha, which means don't be stupid. It might be the otherwise, because God created for paradise those who they are fit for it while they were in their father loins. So you, my friend, everything you said to me, it was a fraud. So we, we believe or not to believe, it's written already. It's a destiny. You commit sin or you don't commit sin, your destiny is already there. To go to hell, to go to heaven. And this is a child who never commits sin. He never reached the age of sin. And yet he might go to hell. And you said you were laughing at me, saying how in the world that can be. And this is Sahih Hadith, so don't tell me it's weak. You need to cough more, my friend. Cough more, cough more, because that will help. I've got to eat with chips. No, you are not uh, eating chips. You are eating hadith now. <laughs> exactly. This, is the, know, this, this one needs a big, big cough because that cough will take all the false things you told me. The best you do. I know, I, I know about this child one, but I don't know. I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, come on. You know, now you have a child and you are the one who says, how in the world he will go to hell? If he did not commit sin, it's just your word. And I told you, are you saying I'm stupid for saying that? And then you repeat again, you says, well, how in the world he will go? He did not commit sin. So you, you agree that this is stupid and this is your prophet. And now we agree, me and you, that your prophet is stupid because he's saying stupid things. It doesn't make sense. A child, he never commits sin. Where is God justice? This child, he is a, he's, a, he's a baby. He never commits sin. And you agree with me and I agree with you. And you agree that the one who says such a statement is a stupid. So it's time for you to admit again, say it loud and clear. My prophet must be mentally ill, and he is. Oh, no. Well, no, I, he you agreed already. You said, how in the world he can do that? So you are questioning your prophet, not me. Uh, Allah's mystery. <sighs> need to know the context of this verse. Uh, even this one need context, guy. Even this one need context. The, no, the wife and the husband, listen. The wife and the husband, they went to a funeral, and the funeral for little boy, he is an infant. He never commits sin. He never reached the age of sin. Do we need to give you a picture? Do you want to see his diver? Come on, you are playing games now. We need to see the context. Even this one have the context. Even this one need a context. It's a child who never commits sin. The hadith says it clearly. He never reached the age of sin. Even this one need a context for it. He never reached the age of sin. Read carefully. He never committed sin. He never reached the age of committing sin. I mean, what more clear we can make it? And then Muhammad he said to her, he didn't say to her, no, he reached the age of sin. He did not disagree about how, how, how old is he. No, he says to her, it might be otherwise. 
because Allah created for paradise people who are fit for it. So all the religion of Islam is stupid. You say to the Christian, be, be Muslim, you will be saved. But in fact, it's written there. It's written before you are created, you will be a Muslim or a Christian. It's written there, even you will go to heaven or to hell. It's written there, it's not the sin you do. The sin have nothing to do, my friend. The sin, the, the hadith in front of you, and this is Sahih. The, the sin you do have nothing to do where you will go. This is what the hadith is saying. Let me see. I've read this hadith already, but I never knew its true uh, meanings of it. I don't, I don't ah, know. okay. Well, I hope that some kind of will solve the problem, will make you inspired. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, is it is it expensive to buy camel urine in England? Is it available? Huh? Is camel urine available in England? You must have, like spread it around and sell it. Yeah, UK. You can, huh? Mashallah. So now the camel urine can help you, but Allah cannot. The camel, camel. You cannot. Allah cannot. Have you look at this. So oh, you... based on this, based on this, is very simple. Islam is destroyed because it's not the sin you commit which will make you go to hell. It is a destiny. So I believe in Islam. I don't believe in Islam. Already written for me where I will go. I am a Christian. I'm Muslim. I'm a Hindu. I'm a Buddha. I'm a theist. It doesn't matter. It's written to me where I will go. Islam made by a fool for the fool. Are you a fool, my friend? No, it's been written for what everyone's what going to do in their, in their life. What they would do in their life. The guy, he don't have a life. He's an infant. Stop playing the game. What written that they would do in life, and even that will make it over more, more stupid because you wrote for me what I will do in my life, and then you will punish me for what I did in my life. And now you see the sin you do have nothing to do with it. This child, he did not do sin, my friend. Did, did this child, did, did this child live to make sin to do sin? He did not. No, but I think I think the commentary on this is uh, is this child is in a. He's gonna, they're gonna, he's gonna grow to, I think, a, a human, and then this, child, I don't know, this child will grow and he is dead. That this child will grow and he is dead. No, I'm saying on the, on the, on, on judgment day. This, this child. In the judgment day, Allah will grow him in the backyard, and then he will. What is that, man? She said he will go to. She will go to. He will go to heaven. He did not say Allah will grow him. What do you What's wrong with you? So now you are saying that you must then believe. That after you die, Allah will grow you, and then He will give you another life, another Adam, another Eve, and then He will judge you. I thought judgment no, day no. is that for judgment day. That's it. <coughs> yeah, cough more. I need to, yeah, you need I to. Need no, you do not need anything. You need to cough a lot. No, I eat too much chips. That's why. I'm My friend, you oil, are not oil. eating chips. You are coughing from laughing at your prophet. I'm not. You are no, coughing no. from embarrassment then. Choose one. I'm yeah. helping. I'm trying to I help see. you. Okay, why you keep coughing? But each I... time each time things get hot, you start coughing. So listen carefully. The child, you, you yourself, you agree that this is not fair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Is, so, so, you, so, yeah, 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 yeah. So you agree that your God is not fair? Ali, there is none amongst the five brothers. Ali, please, let me see. Let me read this properly. No, no, don't read. Cough first, and then read. That Because you need time. You don't need to buy time. You just said, yeah, 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 yeah. So you agree that Allah cannot be God, because God is just. Isn't it one of the names of Allah, Al-Adil, which means the just? How he, is named, how he earned his title, if this is what he will do? What is the, what is the just? No, but it, 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 is, it does not say, it does not say that it, Maybe it's going to he uh, hell. It does not say that it's going to hell. It says uh, it might be the otherwise. It might be the it otherwise. Might. You speak English yeah, very but, well, so it might be the yeah, otherwise. Maybe. So what Aisha she assume? Aisha she assume you will go to heaven. What Muhammad no, he assume? Uh, it might be the otherwise. Is there, a, is there a third option? Let me answer this. Let me answer this. Because mm -hmm. Prophet Muhammad has, has no right or no wisdom on you know for everybody's uh destiny is just Allah knows who is going to heaven who's who who's going to have hell so he cannot say this this is this person going to hell this person going to heaven this baby is going to heaven so he just leaves the altar my friend I, I don't know how old are you I assume you are a man it says it might be the otherwise so he did not say he was go to heaven or to hell he said there's other options it might be otherwise so Muhammad he told you clearly 
that she said already the first option he will go to heaven guaranteed muhammad says it might be otherwise which means what is left hell and muhammad did not say he will go to hell he said it might be it might be he will go to hell or and he gave the reason for allah created the destiny of the person before he created them who will go to hell who will go to heaven you want you need to cough no, no, I'm not coughing. <laughs> oh, go ahead if you want to cough. It's okay. You need it, you know. Beautiful angel of the Jannah. Unless I'm just reading the commentary on this. Mentioned it correctly. The scholars. Well, everything have commentary. I mean, the Muslim cannot understand the religion except with the commentary. I mean, even this one need commentary. The child, he is not. He's a child. He is an infant. He did not reach the age of sin. He never commits sin. And even this one need commentary. Listen, let me ask keeps... you. Let me ask you. Did they add in the commentary some coughing too? No, no, no. <laughs> because I'm assuming that you are reading the commentary and it says there, cough, cough. So you're cough, you know? Okay, 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 brother. Let me answer, let, let me ask you a question, yeah? Let me ask you a question now. So what we will do uh, with this one, you will jump to a question. Are you trying to escape the, the madness of your prophet? This one here, this one here is saying, is saying that uh, there's two options. The, the statement was to prevent and number two, the Russian decisions. My friend, what to prevent? What Russian decisions? Uh, Muhammad, he made it clear. It might be otherwise. It might be otherwise, which means he might go to hell. And he told why. What prevent? What prevent? The women she assumed because he's a child, he never commits sin. Was she wrong? Was Aisha wrong when she said the child will go oh. to heaven because he did not commit sin? You yourself, you agreed. Before he came to know that all children in passing said this before he came to know that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Right here. He says, he says, he hmm. says, this said that Harafi said this before he came to know that all children passing away before the age of puberty will enter Jannah. So this means that <laughs> the Harafi did not. Did not know. So the time. so the prophet here he make poo poo. No, he he did not know at that time. Okay, I will go what, with you. Uh, you just said you just said you just said that your prophet was lying, speaking without knowledge. No, he said he said he said that this was the prophet did not have the knowledge at that time. This exactly. Time. If I don't have the knowledge, why I open my mouth? Why he's trying to correct her wrongly? So you are saying now. You are saying now that he was wrong in this one, right? No, I'm not wrong. Aisha was saying that this baby is going to go to heaven, but the prophet said, how do you know? It could be the other way. He did, not, he did, he did not say how you would know. He was sure. He says it might be the otherwise. So, and he told yeah. her why. He told her for God, why? he created them. Hey, listen, man, don't force me to hang up on you. I like your cough, honestly. So listen, uh, he did not say to her that uh, it, you know there's possibility. He said to her, it might be otherwise, and he tell her a reason. So when your Abdul in the commentary says to you, at that time, the prophet did not know, that even make it more horrible. Because if I do not know, I should not open my mouth, and I should not give false information. For he gave information why he might go to hell. Why? He says, for Allah, he created for paradise those who are fit for it while they were in their father backbone. And he created for hell those who are go to hell, he created them for hell while they were in their father backbone. So Muhammad did not assume, he was not guessing, he was speaking as if he's sure. And if he is not telling the truth, that means he's a liar. And if you, the commentary is saying at that moment, the prophet did not know, then the prophet, he said something he did not know, which means he's a liar. Well... I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one. This is this is this year. What I'm what I'm reading here. The commentary is saying. All right, that my friend. I will let you that. go for now. You can call me anytime. Nice talking to you. Yeah, and I, now I, you can I, spend I, your you time coughing. Question. Can can you answer me one question? Yeah, but you yeah. know, I can. I'm not. I can stay online forever, my friend. I was going to leave actually one, before you call me. One simple question. It's okay. One simple question. Okay. Do you believe? Do you believe? Yeah, that Hitler. Putin, all these Christians of that have been killing everybody, are they going to go to heaven for killing aliens, even though they believe that Jesus died for their sins? 
Who I believe in Hitler what? No, these Putin, Bush, Blair, these Hitlers, they, they are Christians. They huh. believed Jesus died for their sins. Okay. So do you believe Putin killing thousands of Ukrainians? Yeah. Do you believe he believed that Jesus died for his sins? Is he going to go to heaven? Well, obviously, Putin is a hypocrite like your prophet. No, answer Let me question, answer you. I'm, I'm answering, I'm answering. The person who say that he believe in Jesus, he is not going to kill people who did not kill him. They did not fight him. They did not go after him. Your prophet did exactly the same. Your prophet, he said, I've been ordered to kill all mankind until they agree that I am the messenger of Allah and Allah is my religion and they have to do salat, etc. And they have to pay me money. So Putin, he is believing in Muhammad, obviously. He no, believe. come on, brother. He oh. he Jesus, Listen, on, you, answer, brother. you ask me, let me answer you. Let me answer you. So Putin, obviously, he believed that the Ukrainian, they have to bow down for him. They have to worship as he worship. He worship himself. He want to be the prophet of mankind. He like to show off. And he like to be obeyed by everybody. That's why he slit everybody. And as you see, he is killing Christians. He's not killing Muslims. And not only that, he is using Muslim army to kill the Christians. He brought Qadarov and the people of Shishenia, the gangs of Shishan, to come and attack and kill the Christians. And as you see, there's no difference between Putin and your prophet. Umurtu an waqatu al nasa jamian. I have been ordered to kill all mankind. All mankind. Until. So what? Until what? This is what Putin, he said. He said, if you, if they agree with I and my, my, my demand, I will stop the war immediately. That's what Putin said in the first week. If they agree with my demand, I will stop my attack. Very simple. This is Muhammad. Agree with me. I will not kill you. You don't agree with me. I will kill you. So you're a prophet is more filthy than Putin. And Putin, obviously, he is learning from Prophet Muhammad and he became a criminal. Does it, does it say, does it say, if you say, if you do say this and you do this and you do this, then and only then I will stop shedding your blood. Does it say that in front of you on the screen? Oh, no, 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 no. Read it, read it. Does it say, if you do this, the following those things, then I will stop shedding your blood. Does it say that? No. Hello? What, what's wrong with the, you know, you cough when you want to escape. You don't hear me when you want. My friend, let me repeat the question. Okay, does it say that the Muhammad, he will stop shedding your blood only, only if you obey him? Or I am lying. Brother, he was living with Jews. I don't care. He killed them all. He killed them all. Putin, he used to live with Ukrainian too. And now he is killing them all. Don't change the topic. You are the one who opened the question. Did your prophet, he make it clear? I've been ordered, I've been commanded to kill all mankind. And so, they satisfy that there's no God but Allah, and there's no prophet but Muhammad, and then they do. Obey me, they pray as I pray, they slaughter as I slaughter, they even eat as I eat, and then and only then, their blood and their worth is saved from my hands. Is that correct? I have been kind to fight mankind until they say no God but Allah, yeah? Hmm. <coughs> More coughing. No, I've, I've got a cough, man. I've got a cough. Yeah, I know. You, need to, you, 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 have, you have to cough. cough. You have to cough. Uh, so now, Putin is way nicer than your prophet. I, I will tell you yeah. why. Putin did not even put a chains in their neck. Your prophet, he put a chains in their necks. And the kilometers are the next text state Islam has taught me how to be merciful. He says, I have been ordered, I have been ordered to kill the people until they testify there is no God but Allah and they establish if they do not, if they do that, their blood and wealth are protected from me by the price of Islam. Their reckoning will be with Allah, yeah? Yeah, so your, your prophet, he is a gang, he is Hello? a Hitler. Hitler, he said, you have to obey Hitler. I am the only one in this world. Everybody have to worship me, bow down to me. We are the best. And if you don't, we will kill you. And you start killing people. And this is Putin now. He is learning from Hitler. Hitler learned from Muhammad. And Muslims, they praise Hitler. And not only that, let me ask you, is it true that the Muslims are the best of mankind? Yes. 
how, why they are the best of mankind? What makes them the best? Because we are, we are, we are the closest ones to follow this is, the. Follow no, this is another reason. God. This is another reason. The reason is because you have a duty to put the chains around chains around the necks of mankind and bring them into slavery, or they have to convert to Islam. Is that correct? No, that's open. Are you sure? No, no, no. There's there is no compulsion in religion. That's what the Quran says. Allah says there's no compulsion in That's religion. That's false. You just, you just said your prophet saying, I'm in order to kill all mankind until they say, and you are saying to me, no compulsion in religion. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, Abdul. This is why your prophet is an idiot. Here we go. You can cough, by the way, if you want. This is... No, no, cough. It this, says... My friend, this is your prophet saying that the Muslims are the best of mankind because... They will bring mankind into Islam and the chains around their necks. Did your prophet say that or I'm lying? Umblings take place, demonstrate, uh, This hadith is only got to do with the Arabs, brother. I'm, I'm, I'm reading what? a commentary here. What? I'm, I'm, reading, I'm reading a commentary. What? This, this is only talking about the what pagan the Arabs. So it doesn't matter if they are pagan Arab or are they chicken? They are human. I mean, your answer is very stupid, my friend. It says I've been ordered to, to fight all mankind, and now this is only the Arab? It no. says they are the best of all mankind, the best of all mankind, the best of man all mankind, and now he's speaking, and doesn't make a difference. I'm an Arab, so it's okay for you to bring me with a chain in my neck? Is that just a fight no, for you? Our friend, just go, man. You guys just go and cough. What a hilarious answer. This is only for the Arab, as if this is even better. This is even more horrible. The Muslims, they are white supremacists. They think they are the best of mankind. They are, this is a fascism. Fascist. The fascist Muhammad told them, you have authority to kill them all. Or they bring them with the chin around their neck. He's a fascist. He's a Hitler himself. And this is why Hitler, he was beloved by the Muslims. And he was why he was embracing Islam actually in his action. Do you know that every single Muslim in the Middle East, he loved Hitler? Do you know that they have his book printed? The United Nation and the stupid American, they give donation to the Palestinian Authority. And then the Palestinian Authority, they print the book of Hitler and they give it for free for every child in their territory. This is the truth. Islam is a fascism. Supremacist, the white supreme Arab. They look down at everybody. When an Arab, he go to Pakistan, he looked them down, down. He's an Arab. This is why when Osama bin Laden, he went to Afghanistan, he acted as if he's God there. Because he's an Arab, and they are not. This is why the Muslims, they change their names to Arabic names, but you will not find an Arab changing his name to Pakistani name. Their clothing, their names, their words, everything, the Arab. Islam is the religion of the Arab. The Arab are the supreme. The rest, they have to come with the chain around their neck. And now you can take your time to cough. And you are talking about Putin. Putin is little criminal compared to your prophet. Little, tiny. He's a criminal. Is evil, but he's way small to compare to Muhammad. Muhammad is the man who ordered the, the Arab to attack the Roman just to get the blonde girls. He said, attack the Roman and get the blonde girls. Not attack the Roman so we spread Islam, no. To get the blonde girls. Our friend, you are talking to Christian Prince. And the laundry of your prophet, all of it is here. This is why my room stink. Because your prophet is in it. 
I hope you guys you have a good time and you learn. Please take a reference. Feel free to download my videos and you can repost them. Don't worry about it. I don't flag people for copyright because simply what I do is for free for everybody. We want the Christians, non-Christians, everybody to learn that Islam is a pure evil cult. It's a violence. It's a disgusting. It's a religion teaching hate. And we should help Muslims to get out of their hate. We don't hate Muslims. But as you see, this is a very hateful religion. So I hope today we were able to serve you and teach you and give you some information. You can use it. Please take reference. If you like education, education is the best thing you can accomplish in life. Knowledge is the most powerful thing you can earn. Money can come, money can go. But even if you became homeless, your education will stay with you and can you can make living again because you are educated. A person has no education, he loses money, he lost everything. Education, education, education. The Bible says my people have been destroyed because of their ignorance. So learn, educate yourself, and then you will become respected wherever you go. When somebody now, you go to some a society, a group of people talking about Islam, and you are the one who learn, and people will be really looking, wow, this guy, he knows what he's talking about. You will not look like a fool. Join the other fools who are saying stupid things about Islam, which is not true. Islam is peace. Islam, uh, you know, the Mujahideen, they have a wrong interpretation of the Quran. But this is Muhammad. Did Muhammad have a wrong interpretation? When ISIS, they commit their crimes, they quote Muhammad. They don't quote Jesus. They don't quote interpretation. They quote Muhammad's words as it is. And Muhammad's actions speak for the words. And as always, I say, if a fool Muhammad can fool you, a fool like Muhammad can fool you. How foolish are you? This is religion of foolishness. How in the world anyone can believe that there is a God? If I believe in him, he will make my penis endless as size, and he will give me a lot of women to boom boom. Isn't it obvious that this is stupid? Do you have to be genius? You cannot even convince a donkey to join this religion. If you tell him, if you tell a donkey, I will give you a 472 donkey female. The donkey will look at you like, what the heck? What does that mean? This is religion speak to your greed. The greed of owning more women. The greed of controlling more women. The greed of having gold and silver. The greed of being satanic, abusing children, 80,000 child will be your slaves in heaven. This is not heaven. This is the land of slavery. What kind of a human being he accept that 80,000 little boys will serve him for eternity? That is a child abuse. How that can be heaven? In heaven, you should be serving a child, not a child serving you. In heaven, you should be loving your wife, not your wives are just for lost. And there's tons of them. And they are programmed, and even the Quran promised them that they will have no jealousy. They are just silicon. So my friend, learn, educate yourself, and learn the truth. The truth will set you free. Always remember, in case you lose our channel for some reason, always you can go to patreon.com slash Christian Prince. And you do not need to make a donation. You can just go in, check the last video I posted, and you will know where I will be. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And this is your brother, Christian Prince, who is serving you for today humbly. And tomorrow, Sunday, I hope I will be able to go live on the morning again. And we will meet you again. God is willing. Thank you. God bless. Christ is Lord, and Islam is a scam. Islam without lies dies. Remember that. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah.
The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet That's tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 